Hey guys! I hope everybody's having a blessed day. This is my dad, David. Hi, how are you? And we're gonna talk to you today. And so God's been putting a lot on his heart. He wanted to make a video with me. And so we're gonna be blessed. So you were talking about why does God allow certain things to happen? Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a little better uh, start about myself. Uh, 2014. Uh, I got into a motorcycle accident and I almost. Uh, you almost died. Uh, I lost my uh, my leg. Yeah. And, and lost his right leg. I did a, and a prosthetic. Leg. And yeah. at that moment, it's like uh, I asked for God's help, and I thought I was gonna. Go. I thought I was going to die there. Yeah. But God kept me here for a reason. I worked in a, in a job for about 23 years. And I thought my whole world was uh, was going to end. It was a, a moment of not being sure. And it was... It was a moment where the real words of do you trust me came into plan and God was literally saying do you trust me with a moment where we almost lost my dad where we almost lost our house where he lost his job and everything happened all at once we were like what's going on why are you allowing this to happen and it was what the devil meant to hurt us. God turned it around for his glory. And him here today is, let alone a miracle to us. And how he blessed us and put people in our lives to help us to put food on our table, to be able to pay our bills and to even get by. God had a plan all along. So where we were fearing what do we do? We almost lost him. We almost lost everything. And it was so fearful. And we were just like, God, we trust you. He literally used that and blessed us beyond we can even imagine. And we saw the work of God in our life. And people also saw God work in our life and saw, why are you not sad? Why are you not depressed? Why are you always happy? And we're like, because God, God is getting us through this. And people couldn't understand that. We put God first in our lives. You have to. You know, we went through some terrible times. But just because uh, our faith was so strong, he got us through it. And we never were unhappy. There was times, you know, there was, you know, upside, you know. Ups up, and downs. Downs and and you know, being a man, it's like you, uh, you're the supporter of the house, and, and he's, he's saying, you know, um, he was uh, like, you know, I'm supposed to be supplying for my family, and literally, God was saying, no, no it's time. me, and it was teaching us, uh, basically, trust God, and. You know, he says to have faith the size of a mustard seed. And it, with having, even if you have a little, little, little faith, you know, he, you can move mountains. That's true. And that's what got us by, by having the faith that God was going to get us through this, that God was going to help us, and that God was going to provide. We didn't look at, like, why is this happening? Why are you hate me? Why this and why that? It was more of like, we had moments like that, trust me. We're human. We're human. But it was like, God was showing us what, what man cannot do, God can do. And he shows us that. That even in times like this, he's going to get us through it. He's going to give us the strength to get through it because if we trust him 
That's basically what he's asking is, do you trust me? Stop looking at everything else around you and just trust me that I have a plan. I have a purpose and I'm going to help you through it. And so that's what we were discussing about how God helps us through the darkest times of our, our lives or the darkest moments that we have and how we wanted to express and be kind of transparent to you guys. Um, we were also talking about how dangerous the things that we're going to come right now. And we got to depend on, on God. You know, he'll, he'll supply our needs and, you know, get us through this time. And I know there's a lot of young people out there that are going through sometimes. It's like, you know, where are you? You know, where is God right now? But God's mm -hmm. with us every day. Believe me, he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's our strength and he's our hope. Uh, we can't depend on men right now. You know, the things we're looking at, you know, they say things are getting better, but mm -hmm. they, they'll never be the same anymore. There's no new normal. <laughs> And you gotta be careful what things you let into your head, you know, that things are gonna be better. And it's like, just keep your, your eyes open. Or allowing like the fear in the media or yeah. the fear yeah. of that's going on. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, we, sometimes we get so full in our head, we're like, we let the things that are going around it starts to dictate how we believe and that's not how it's supposed to work. We're supposed to trust God in good and bad and know that he has a purpose through all of this. Seeing everything that's going on in this world, everybody's all like, where's your God now? Where is he? You said he was coming. And the thing is, is that he is. There's a time and there's a place. And at that moment when we need him the most, he's going to show up and show out because that's who our God is. He promises something, he will fulfill that promise. He will come through. It's not the way we want it to be where like, you have to give me what I want. No, he'll give you what you need. And looking at everything that's going on, we have to be careful of what we put into our heads or into our bodies of, of absorbing fear or absorbing doubt. If you're listening to things that are making you cause doubt into you, you shouldn't be listening to it. You have to start applying God's word into your life and start, because the word of God is not confusion. The word of God is truth and he will lead you to truth. To truth. And basically we need to start filling ourselves up with more of God and less of us because he's the only one who will get us through all of this. And if you see everything that's going on with the wars and rumors, rumors of wars, war, you know, if you're, if you read through the Bible, you, you, you'll notice that everything's falling in place right now. Prophetically? And, you know, like... People think, oh, no, no, no this, it's impossible. But if you read into it, really everything's falling and it's getting faster and faster. Yeah. And we're getting so close to, to, uh, uh, meeting, meeting our, our, our Lord, maker. yeah. Everybody says, "Ah, oh, they've been saying this for years, hundreds of years." You know, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see him. And it, but we are. The, the years go by, but now I think everything is there. It's in black and white and Being, red. And yeah, <laughs> and and he's warning people. All of this is a warning to wake up. Like I had got a word. I was in prayer, and this morning. And he said, and it was as though if you ever saw somebody laying down and they sit up like really fast, like that's how I felt like I was like, he says, I am coming. Arise, my children. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. That's John ten fourteen. I am sending my son very soon. This world is going to come to a change. Warn them. He told me to warn you guys. Their eyes are far from me, and they still desire this world. I um, this world. I am warning you: great chaos is coming. Seek me while you can. Draw near to me. Repent. Give your heart to me. It says, and take up your cross. He gave me Luke nine twenty three. Nine 
23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. And he said, um, Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. He was literally saying, because he's like, the people's choices that you guys are choosing is going to lead you to destruction. Your, your desires for this world is going to lead you to a one path straight to hell. Because what you want in this world, it, it's nothing compared to eternity. Your life will come to an end one day. And that's what it all comes down to. It all comes down to where you go when you die. That's why we're trying to warn you to wake up and who you'll choose. And it says in verse 14, uh, and me, okay, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. You know, it's not easy to follow a path where everybody thinks you're crazy or everybody thinks you're religious. I'm not religious. I love Jesus. And Jesus is my savior. He saved me from myself. He saved me from my sin. He set me free from bondage and shame. And he could do the exact same thing for you. See, it has to come to a point. Do you want to live for yourself? and gain nothing? Or do you want to live for God and you can gain eternity? We're so blinded now by the lust of this world, or how, what vacations we can have, or uh, what where parties I can go to, or what bars I can go to. And you're not realizing today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow could be too late. Need to... Revelation 21, 4. Uh, he wants me to read Revelations 21, verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> For the former things are passed away. You know, we all... We all struggle with pains in our body or mentally we, we, we deal with it. We deal with sorrow. We deal with agony. We deal with the loss of loved ones, you know, and one day by receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior, all that pain, all that sorrow, all the grief that we've been through in this world will mean nothing in the presence of him. We will be like, it was all worth it to be in his presence. We'll have a glorified yeah, body. we'll have our glorified bodies. He'll have his know. leg back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we won't have any more arthritis. We won't have any more pain. We won't have any more tears coming from our eyes because he captures all our tears. He captures every single tear in a bottle. We mean a lot to God. You guys mean a lot to us. Yeah. So. That's why we're trying to show you the way. We're trying to show you love because I would rather somebody tell me than not tell me the truth. I would rather tell me I'm going to hell than not to tell me to go to hell and not give me a solution of what to do. I mean, people are always like, you're going to hell, you're this, you're that. But they don't give people the solution that the solution is Jesus and how to get delivered, how to get set free, how to get saved. And that's what it's all about is the Jesus, that you have a relationship with Jesus. It doesn't matter what you look like. You can have tattoos and all piercings. God doesn't look at it. It's what's here. It's all about your heart. You know, that's what people can't understand. That God, when he ate amongst people, they were like, how are you eating with sinful people? And they don't even wash their hands. He says, what is it more to just, what is that? 
He came to save the sick. He came to save them. He doesn't catch a fish that's already cleaned. He catches the fish and then cleans it. And that's what he does. He doesn't care that you're not perfect. He doesn't care what you've done. He already forgives you and just wants you to believe in him and to have a relationship with him. That's all he wants. That's, that's all he wants. And I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest. No, it's not easy to be a Christ follower. It's not easy to go ahead and say everything hon is honky dory when you're with God. No, we still have issues. We still have problems. We still have pain. We still have things that go on in our life. But God makes it so much easier to get through it because he is our strength and he is our hope and he is our guide. And he is the one who ultimately is the say so. So, no, we don't have it perfect, but he never said this life was going to be perfect. He never said that we were not going to go through things, but he said he would be with us and go through it with us. So he's in that fire with us, and we're not getting burned by that fire. He's with us. Anything else to say? That's it. So I hope this was a blessing to you guys. And just, we love you. Be encouraged and be blessed.